All right, I started to take a couple notes here and I'm going to explain how fronts work. Now, if there is moisture or water vapor, water vapor is the humidity. If there is moisture or water vapor in the air and it, the warm air meets cold air, condensation occurs. Now, before we talk about this, let's think about the water cycle. When the water cycle happens, it's when something cools down. When something that is warm cools just like when something is warm around a glass of ice water and it touches the ice water, then it condensates on the side of the glass. So condensation will occur creating our cloud. Now, once that happens over a long period of time, then it gets heavy and then precipitation happens. So when something that is warm meets cold air, it causes it to rain because the condensation occurs and when there's too much in the clouds, then the precipitation falls. So that is how rain happens when we're talking about temperature. Now this is right where a storm would happen when we have our warm air moving into our cold air. The same thing that I talked about here. Warm air brings a warm front and a cold air brings a cold front. And when we meet, that's where stormy weather happens. Now, when we're talking about pressure systems, you might've heard on the TV, low pressure systems and high pressure systems. A low pressure system is warm air is rising. So basically warm air is going to rise and because there is not enough pressure pushing down on the warm air, it rises and that meets, means bad weather because it's meeting the cooler air. The warm air is meeting the cooler air. A high pressure system is when the cold air goes down and warms up. So when cold air warms up, it is clear because cold air warming up does not cause condensation. The warm air turning cold is what causes condensation. So that's why a low pressure system brings bad weather and a high pressure system brings good weather. Because a high pressure system is when cold air goes down to warm air, which does not result in condensation. So that is understanding cold fronts, low pressure systems, and high pressure systems.